You ever been out on a warm, sunny day and you see something that kind of looks like a tornado? I never have. Don't look at me when you say that. I never have, but I know several people in Maine have. They're called dust devils, and we get them right here in Maine. We've got uh, some proof right now. Mike Slifer is going to show us. Yeah, so uh, this is one of those interesting little things that people see, and I feel like since we don't really get big impacts from these often, they don't get talked about much. But dramatic video is certainly uh, one of the things that they do produce. Check out this video in Shirley, Maine. So see that big tube of dust that's rotating up into the atmosphere. Looks like a tornado, but clearly no storms around. Well, that's a dust devil. And the conditions in this video are pretty much perfect for how these get to form. So the big thing that you need for dust devils is called differential heating. That comes from the sun heating up the ground. So the sun heats up the ground and it's most common on, you know, bluebird days where you've got just full sunshine. The sun can really efficiently heat things up and this creates a weak area of low pressure. As you warm up the air, it becomes a little less dense. Less dense air begins to rise. So this slowly begins to rise, but air eventually will rush in to fill this area of low pressure and that's where you end up uh, building this rotating column of air and it gets sucked up into the atmosphere, kind of similar to a tornado, but a tornado, of course, is associated with a thunderstorm. This is not. These can mature and sometimes they last for just a couple of minutes. Sometimes they can last for 15 or 20 minutes. They begin to pick up debris and you can actually get them where you can't see them. You need dust or leaves or something to get picked up by them in order for, in order for them to become visible. But over time, eventually cooler air starts to work in. Cooler air is more dense. Once the warm air runs out, the dust devil will begin to fizzle and fade. And there's some interesting things about dust devils uh, locally in Maine. First and foremost, they're not associated with thunderstorms and they can happen any time of the year. So in very rare occasions, you can actually get these in the winter where they start to pick up snow and you end up with a bit of a snow whirlwind. Usually they're pretty short lived weak, don't really have big impacts, but on rare occasions they can injure people. And believe it or not, there was actually one death from a dust devil in Maine. I struggled to find any other states that even talked about deaths from uh, dust devils, but we did have one here in Maine. That happened 19 years ago today on May 19th, 2003 in Lebanon. So pretty interesting stuff. If you wanna see one, the best spot to look is gonna be a wide open field on a hot summer day. And I think that we've got some good weather this weekend coming up to be able to potentially see one. In the studio, meteorologist Mike Slifer, New Center, Maine. 18 in South.